Hello, everybody. My name is Dr. Françoise Wilhelmi de Toledo, and I'm the scientific director of the clinics Buchinger Wilhelmi in Überlingen and Marbella. Today, I'm very happy to present you a study that recently uh, appeared in the journal Antioxidants in June 2020. So it's very new. And it's a, it is about the influence of long-term fasting on blood redox status in humans. Uh, this study has been done together with uh, Franziska Grundler, my co-worker, and the University of Tethali School of Health Sciences, Professor Dimitrios Kouretas. And we have uh, just wanted to know if the oxidative stress that appears in all the organisms normally and also is accelerated and enhanced by pollutions of all arts, drug consumes, uh, cigarette smoking, uh, heavy meals and metabolic stress, of this is bettered by fasting and especially by a fast that lasts 10 days. And we had a group of 109 subjects uh, who spend 10 days of fasting at the Buchinger Wilhelm Clinics following the long-term fasting program that we offer there. We had uh, then a blood examination at the beginning, before the fasting started and at the end. Maybe you know oxidative stress and you know probably that um, we have an, a whole machinery in the organism uh, made out of enzymes of the vitamins play a role too, some, some minerals play a role, and all these mechanisms will protect us from oxidative stress because oxidative stress and the reactive oxidative products are very toxic for the organism, damages, lipids, proteins, membranes, and even the DNA from our cells leading, of course, to dysfunctions of all the organs and eventually also to uh, the death of, of cells. So this can lead and enhance any disease, acute or chronic. So this is a very good thing that we use all the possibilities we have to diminish this oxidative stress. I make a little parenthesis to tell you something very special. Reactive oxygen species, which are the agents who provoke the oxidative stress in our organism, come from the damages caused by oxygen. Oxygen for us is a very necessary substance for life, yes, but at the same time we must be protected from the very, very strong effects of oxygen. And uh, all the processing of the oxygen in our body uh, is made in the mitochondria. And the mitochondria seems to be a bacteria which we live in, in coexistence with, in symbiosis. And, and this, this mitochondria processes the oxygen because she learned to deal with the oxygen. And at the same time, uh, the body, the body cell is nourishing and taking care of the mitochondria. So when we just breathe and the cell breathing with oxygen occurs, then we produce some oxidative stress, but in a totally physiological range. So the body can deal with it. And it's even a very important signal for some genes to uh, start the detoxication process. But if it would turn to be too big, that sometimes with inflammation in the body, we have a very large amount of oxidation or we smoke cigarettes, we live in a very polluted inner uh, room or outer room in a, in a place where you have a lot of pesticides and the air is not clean, the water has, is not clean either. So that is bringing um, too much oxidative stress and the body can be overwhelmed by it. If not, we produce uh, some um, substances which will defend us and which will neutralize this oxidative stress. And this is the antioxidant machinery. In our study, we started just to look if the persons coming, these 109 subjects, uh, had a high or low oxidative stress at the beginning, and what was the effect of 10 days of fasting? This is called long-term fasting today because 
uh, you oppose that to short-term fasting called intermittent fasting. And long-term fasting uh, can be done under medical supervision, in a special place with the staff taking care of the person, especially if it's for therapeutic purposes. So what did you observe in these uh, persons of the 10 days? We saw an, an increase of the total antioxidant capacity. And this has been very good described in our publication. And uh, with the curves, you see immediately that there is an um, increase um, of this total antioxidant capacity, showing that the body can react good to oxidative stress and better during this period of fasting. Um, an increase of the uric acid is parallel. A uric acid is um, a substance that normally is not increasing in the body, except you have a special pathological situation leading to gout. But in fasting, this increase of uric acid is not leading to gout, and very probably the body increases the uric acid um, also because of this antioxidant effect of uric acid. Another effect you will notice that the T bars, these are substances uh, and we can measure and which reflect the degree of oxidation of the lipids. Lipids are part of the membranes and are circulating in the blood. And this is also an excellent result because this shows that our membranes, our lipids are better protected uh, during this period of fasting. And at the same time, um, the circulating fats, um, which cause arteriosclerosis, are less oxidated, which is a good uh, thing. So uh, the um, results are very positive, and we just did the first study. Uh, we will have other studies coming up who show at other parameters of oxidative stress and antioxidant. Uh, there is a, an aspect for the people who are interested in these antioxidants, the glutathione, the catala. These are enzymes that don't change from the first day. If you measure them the first day and then you measure them again in the 10th day, we don't know if they, if they increase in between. But at, at least what we can say is that they are not diminishing. They don't seem to be influenced. And some people had high glutathione, other had low glutathione, and when it's high, it seems to decrease, and if it's, it was low, it seems to increase, which is an interesting piece for further studies. So maybe another little comment uh, that I would like to do to you is that the fasting itself, especially if you do it in a protected place where you're far away from your everyday life, <clears throat> where you have a whole staff taking care of you, giving you confidence because uh, the staff knows how to care and how to guide people doing a fast of five days, 10 days, 15 days, or 20 days. Uh, this is diminishing the oxidative stress because the air is pure, because we don't absorb food containing oxidative uh, or, or substances which can lead to the production of ROS. Um, and at the same time, the digestion, the confrontation between food and our digestive process enhance uh, oxidation processes. We know that because the oxidative stress is enhanced postprandial, this means after the meals. So since you have no meals or very reduced meals, because in the Buchinger Wilhelmi clinics, we uh, give... Um, uh, 200, 250 calories in form of juices or a little bit of honey and vegetable broths. So <clears throat> you have al almost no meals. And this is a per se, a diminution of the oxidative stress. So in conclusion, we can say 10 days of fasting according to the program of the Buchinger Wilhelmi clinics will diminish the oxidative stress and will enhance the antioxidative um, response of the body, which in finally is an excellent news since oxidative stress is aggravating any condition you can have acute or chronic. So if you want to enhance your immunity or at least enhance 
your power and defend yourself against, against aggressions than uh, a fasting period medically determined according to the condition of the person, short or longer, with supplements or without, is certainly a perspective that is going to be studied uh, more and more and probably will um, constitute a new paradigm in medicine to complement classical treatments or in some very compliant persons who change their lifestyle afterwards, who can really uh, follow with a, with a better way of eating, a better way of moving, and also emotional balance. Uh, this could be a tool in the therapeutical arsenal from the 21st century. So rediscover your own ability to fast. So every human being, any, every animal is able to fast for short or longer periods. We recommend in the Buchinger Wilhelmi clinics to have medical advice from specialized doctors specialize in fasting and having a staff who is trained to guide fasting persons. And then you can really make, it, make a try either to uh, prevent diseases or uh, when you have a disease to uh, treat it um, with more than just the conventional treatment. I hope it was interesting to you. You can acquire this article in, uh, it's added in uh, the information we give you in this video. So I wish you all the best. See you next time. Mm -hmm.